Okay, I got all these flaps put in there, and we're going to see how good the flaps drag this thing down. This is uh, my Sky Surfer number three, which is the only version two that I have. And that one allowed flaps to be added on the easiest. So, let me set some up trim here to make sure we don't run it into the ground. And we're off. Try a roll. Okay. Let's cruise on up here a ways. Now I'll kick the flaps in and we'll see what they do. Flaps. Here are the flaps. Wow. That slows that down. It's like taking a down elevator. You can certainly see them in the reflection there. If you have a short field landing, that's certainly it. Now I'll take the kick the flaps off and see what difference there is. Oh yeah, it just scoots. Okay. Let's bring it around here and kind of low and I'll kick the flaps in. Slows that plane down, I'll tell you. Whoa! Watch how fast it goes when I kick it in. Oh, yeah. I've got to come by here so you guys can see that even better. I'll drag it down here pretty quick. You guys got to see this. Okay, there's with the flaps in. Now I'll take the flaps out. Oh shoot, it's just hard to tell. Okay, the flaps are engaged right now. Man, does that ever slow that down? Now I'll take the flaps out. Oh yeah, that's, it's hard to see from here. Let's see what a landing looks like with flaps engaged. Oh yeah. I don't know if you could hand launch it like that because it might just fall right into the ground. So let's do one more launch. I don't think I need any up trim. I think I got enough wind. Yeah. Oh yeah. Easily. I think I'm going to put the Microdan on my first play, on Sky Surfer number one. It's getting kind of tore up anyhow, and taking that motor out of there uh, might be a little tough on it. What I should do is take my Sky Surfer number one and put a universal motor mount on it for future motor tries. Okay. Taking the elevator down here. That, I'm gonna have to go around.
cool. Let me try a hand launch with the flaps engaged, just to see what it's like. Okay. I'm going to give it a bit more throttle. Hmm. I'd say it's actually easier. We can sure tell the difference in speed if you're the one that's kicking the switch. Let me see how it glides by here. Going into the wind with no flaps. We'll do a pass. See if you can tell any difference. Okay. Now let's take that same pass with flaps on. Wow, that's, to my eyes, that's a lot slower. One more time. Glide it by with no flaps. Okay, there's pretty much a glide. Okay, same thing with flaps. Try a roll with full flaps. No, oh, it actually rolls nicer. Let's try the stall. We haven't tried that with full flaps. See how much we can, of a stall we can get. Boy, it struggles with those flaps on. Bam. It actually falls straight away now, no tip stall. So if you use them for landing, it sure cuts down on tip stalls. Let's get a little higher and try it again. Okay, I got full flaps now. I'll stall it. There's a stall. I got a bit of a tip stall. I think almost any plane will tip stall, but it's certainly not as much as it was before. Go slow. Whoa. Okay, let's just bring it in for landing. I do like those flaps. Great idea, Prof 100. I think you're the one who said, you've got to have flaps. Well, you were right. Well, that's, uh, if you had a small landing area, those flaps, those are cool. In fact, even if you've got a large landing area, I like them because you can just cruise right in without too much worry of a tip stall and if you make a little mistake you got plenty of time to correct it I gotta glue my skid in I can see that okay guys thanks for watching